Advisory. Distinguished is not intended for all audiences. The following stories are true and may contain details that some find disturbing. Listener and viewer discretion is advised. Next on Distinguished, we honor the legacy of Gary Burnell Baykirch. Gary Burnell Baykirch was born on August 29, 1947, in Rochester, New York. Baykirch enlisted in the United States Army on September 21, 1967, as a Green Beret. During his time in the Army, Baykirch served with the 3rd, 5th and 10th Special Forces Groups as a light weapons and medical specialist. In July of 1969, he was sent to Vietnam. While serving as a sergeant with Company B of the 5th Special Forces Group, 1st Special Forces, Baykirch was stationed at Doc Siang Camp, home to Montagnard villagers and fighters, in the Central Highlands province of Khan Tung. On April 1, 1970, the camp was attacked by a numerically superior North Vietnamese force. While his Montagnard assistants treated the wounded, Baykirch fought back with a 4.2-inch mortar and, after that weapon was disabled by hostile fire, he used a machine gun. Learning that a fellow American soldier was wounded and lying in an exposed position, he ran through heavy fire to rescue the man. He was hit by shrapnel in the process, including one fragment which struck near his spine and partially paralyzed him. For the remainder of the battle he had his Montagnard assistants carry him from one position to another as he treated the injured. He was wounded in the side while giving mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation to a Montagnard fighter and was then shot in the stomach. Despite this, he continued to provide medical care and fire his weapon from his stretcher until losing consciousness. He was evacuated by helicopter and spent six months recovering at Valley Forge Medical Center. Baykirch repeatedly exposed himself to enemy fire to treat wounded soldiers. Despite sustaining serious wounds himself, he continued to provide medical aid, organize a defense, and coordinate the evacuation of wounded comrades. His selfless actions saved numerous lives and inspired those around him. On October 15, 1973, President Richard Nixon presented the Medal of Honor to Bay Kirch, for his actions at Doc Siang. On September 22, 2012, the 2nd Battalion of the 5th Special Forces Group named their new battalion operations building, Bay Kirch Hall, in dedication to the former member of the unit. Aside from the Medal of Honor, Bay Kirch was also awarded Distinguished Service Cross, Silver Star, Bronze Star Medal, Purple Heart with Oak Leaf Cluster, National Defense Service Medal, Vietnam Service Medal, Vietnamese Cross of Galantry with Silver Star, Republic of Vietnam Campaign Medal, Combat Infantryman Badge, Parachutist Badge, and a Special Forces Tab. On December 26, 2021, Bay Kirch died in Rochester, New York, at the age of 74. He was laid to rest at White Haven Memorial Park, in Pittsford, New York. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the stories and lives of military heroes. We hope you've been inspired and moved by their courage and sacrifice. We can't do this without your support. If you've enjoyed this podcast, we kindly ask that you continue to support us by spreading the word. Leaving a positive rating and review on your favorite podcast platform will help others discover these remarkable stories. Don't forget to like and share our episodes on social media. Your personal recommendation can make a significant impact. By sharing these stories, you play a vital role in honoring the bravery of our military heroes and ensuring their legacies live on. Together, let's continue to shine a light on the incredible men and women who have served and protected our nation.